An AP test asks these trade and tariff questions about 7 to 10 percent of the time. This is from the microeconomics exam 2012 question 3. The question gives you the domestic supply and domestic demand for sugar and it also says that there's open trade between countries and the world price is right here at 2 PW. First question asks you at the world price of PW how much will this country import? At two dollars the quantity supplied domestically will be two but people will want quantity demand at 14. So that distance between them, the amount that there would be a shortage if there was no trade in another market, is the amount that's going to import from other countries. So the answer right here is 12 units. Wait, say that again? At $2, this country is going to produce two units, right? That's what the quantity supply is, that's what the supply curve is. But consumers in this country want 14 units. And so they're going to pick up those 12 units from the other countries. In part B, it says there's a tariff that increases the world price from $2 all the way up to $4. So this is the price world with that tariff. So if the government increases the world price with the tariff, the domestic output is going to be 6, 6 units. Now with the tariff, B2 is asking where's consumer surplus and how much is it? Well, consumer surplus is different between what people are willing to pay and what they did pay. And what they're willing to pay is up here. What they did pay is not the equilibrium in the market domestically. It's also not 2. It's with the tariff, so it's 4. So willing to pay, did pay, all the way down here represents consumer surplus. That big triangle is consumer surplus. Now this question says to calculate the consumer surplus, not just to shade it in. So we actually have to get the number for that area. The area of the triangle is one half base times height. And so the height right here is nine minus four. So it's five times the base, which is 10. And that would give you 50. Now 50 is the area of this big rectangle. You gotta cut it in half to get a triangle. So cut that puppy in half, what you end up with is $25 equals the consumer surplus. The question's not asking for this, but I just want to make sure you know, where is producer surplus? Well, producer surplus is the difference between what the sellers want to sell it for, or they did sell it for. And domestic producer surplus would look like this. Right? How about B3? Where is the tariff revenue and how much is it? First question is, how much is the tariff per unit? Well, the world price was two, and now they're saying at the tariff, the new world price is four, and so it must be a tariff of $2 per unit. The next question is, how many units were imported? Well, at $4, domestic production was six, consumers wanted 10, so there were four units that were actually imported from other countries. And so that $2 times four gives you $8, that's the right answer, that's how much the tariff is that goes to the government. Now, graphically, it's right here. It's the $2 times that quantity, it's this right there represents the tariff revenue that the government keeps. Now the last question. So if the price was back to where it was originally at PW, how much did the government put on a tariff that would maximize total surplus? The answer is zero or none. If the goal is to maximize total consumer and produce surplus, the government should put absolutely no tariff on that world price. Make sure you understand why. Here's a consumer and producer surplus. If they did put on a tariff, we set up $2. That would be the total surplus. It would be this triangle added to that little triangle. That's total surplus. But if the government didn't put on that tariff, where would consumer and producer surplus be? And where would it be total surplus? Let's find out. Consumer surplus would continue going all the way down to here. And producer surplus would get smaller and it would be only be down here. But the total surplus, consumer surplus plus producer surplus, would actually be bigger. All right, this question's out of five points. One, two, three, four, and five. Add them up, see how you did. Try the next response.